Hi guys, what's up? I'm Enrique and this is uh, Easy Things to Draw. Today I want to talk about uh, kind of confidence levels within art, right? You know, in terms of doing commissions and, uh, you know, doing work for other people and doing work for yourself. Uh, and I know those are all interconnected. But um, you can have like a really high confidence level, right, for your own stuff when you do it in your sketchbook and you do it in, you know, post on DeviantArt or wherever you post it. But um, it's different when you're doing it for money sometimes it's not really different it's just like a higher level it's a different i guess it is a little different right your confidence for one thing as opposed to the other um so the way this came up is one of my really close friends he's very good at drawing in general like he he can easily do commissions maybe work at a company and he just doesn't do it and i, I you know i don't really get why that's a thing and uh on that same note like i live in the san diego area and i used to live in la and we used to go to sketch nights and uh, I don't know, I'm sure they're all over, this, all over the country, and, uh, but they're really fun. And what it is is sometimes you have like once a week, it'll be like sketch night, you go to a restaurant or you go to somebody's house, and you just kind of hang out, sketch, trade ideas, talk about what's going on in your art career, a bunch of art people, random ages, random groups. Uh, it's really nice. It's fun, you know, and you'll see the same people over and over again. And uh, I've seen so many guys that are either amazingly good or good enough to work and they don't do it and usually the answer i get all the time is that they're like oh i'm not, i'm just not good enough you know and it's that's a lie you know like i can tell from i can tell as being another artist right i can look at his stuff and i'm like i know you're good enough clearly you know what i mean uh I mean, I, I know uh, there, there's certain factors, right? Like how long they take to do it, right? Things like that, you know what I mean? Because when you work, you have to, you have to be time limit, you know, there, you have to be consistent enough, um, you know, efficient enough, you know, get that hit deadlines, things like that. But I think on a pure confidence level, I know, I think that's the biggest thing for these pr people that are holding, it's holding them back and I don't get why. Uh, let me talk about my experience and kind of how I got over certain things. And I'm just going to kind of go through my little shtick. And uh, I think I've told people this before. I started drawing at a late age. Started drawing at about 18. Uh, 17, 18, I think. More like 18. I think out of college, so I think it was 18. And the first paid job that I had, you know, like like for money kind of thing, was actually at a theme park, you know, a few years after I started drawing. I think like two years after I started drawing. I, I started a job at uh, SeaWorld, drawing caricatures. And that was uh, extremely nerve-wracking, right? It was crazy because not only am I drawing for somebody, right? It's they're, they're in front of me, and there's a time limit, kind of. We used to say five to ten minutes. In reality, it's more like half an hour because you're chit-chatting back and forth, and, it, and time goes by really quick. But uh, And not only that, when you're drawing people, people will gather around behind you and see what you're doing. So it was kind of like a performance art. And it was really nerve-wracking. The first one I did, and I, I'm not sure if I talked about this before, the first drawing I did, I was, like, shaking. I was freaking out, you know, in my head. I was like, ah, it was shaking. I was literally, like, trembling. And, um, you know, that first customer was so nice. He knew I had never done it before. And, you know, like, he just boosted my confidence and everything. It was, it was almost like a, what do you call that? It was almost like somebody planted him to, like, make me feel good, <laughs> you know? And then, uh, so the first two months of that job, it was nerve wracking. It was just like, it was so hard just, and I was so bad the first two months, no matter what background you have, you're pretty bad at that doing like a different kind of art, you know, for a while. And after the two months, you know, you start getting used to it, you know, you start kind of like, you, you know, you start putting your own personality into the job. And, uh, also the, the biggest thing for me is I didn't let myself I didn't judge myself as an artist based off one drawing, right? If I did a drawing and it was like, eh, it stunk, I didn't, like, let that affect my whole identity, right, as an artist. I'm just saying, hey, that's a bad drawing. It doesn't have any reflection on me. Um, so you kind of kind of push through that. And uh, we even had here, let me tell you something else. You know, there's there's rejects. Those are basically rejected drawings. You know, you can get rejected drawings in this job, you know, uh, in caricaturing. And uh, that would really shoot your confidence down, right? <laughs> and we have like a b big pile of them underneath the cabinet. And we call them the reject pile. It was fun. Fun job for a while. 
Um, so from there, like doing commissions for me became really easy, like at least in the computer. Uh, the reason I found that very easy, there's two reasons why I found that easy. One, the time limit, I learned to draw faster. And uh, the other reason was I'm not face to face with the person I'm drawing this for, right? This is like, you know, you're doing it on the computer, you know, you're, you have like a week to do something. And I was like, wow, this is so much different. You know, <laughs> I just feel like that really up my uh, confidence with this other stuff. It was almost like this other stuff was nothing now, you know. Uh, but I was going to say, I guess the whole point of this, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not saying be a caricature guy, you know, I'm not saying that. Uh, I would say, honestly, like my, the advice of giving my friend right now is to just do that. If you don't think you're okay, let's just say, you know, you're good enough commission to do commissions, but you're just not quite confident enough to do it, you know, let's say you have the decent amount of skill to do a commission, like you have the, that le minimum, right? You can do it. People like your work. You know what I mean? Uh, it's something you want to try out. Do it. The only thing to do is to actually do it. That that will raise your confidence level is doing commissions. So that's why I'm pushing my friend hard to do those. Uh, we just started doing art shows together. Uh, I'm pushing him into art shows a little bit because he was even hesitant to do that. You know, there's like little art shows and bars and all kinds of events over here that I know he could have got into, you know, and he just tried it out and he got in real quick. I'm like, well, yeah, duh, you're already good enough, you know, just do it. Now he's now he's uh, starting to really get on the road, right? He's really starting to do art. Uh, what do you call that? He's starting to do art shows uh, all around now because he just jumped into it kind of like jumping into cold water, right? It's uncomfortable. And then now he's, you know, your body adjusts like in water. And same thing with this, you know, you start adjusting, you start doing more and more, and then pretty much you get the ball rolling. And, and then you start telling yourself, oh my God, I should have done this. I should have done this like years ago. Because that's a truth, you know. For me, I feel like with the commission thing, with certain types of commissions, I was still kind of like, I should have submitted to that so long ago. It's not even funny. You know what I mean? Same thing with this. Just uh, kind of do it. So the, I don't know if that helped. That was a big ramble. You know what I mean? I was just telling you mostly about my experience and how to raise my confidence level. Uh, do what you need to do. I would say just do it, though. If you're afraid to do something right now, just do it. And I know it, this is so easy, you know? We're not jumping out of a plane, right? We're just submitting artwork to stuff, you know? And if they send back feedback, you know, take that another way. Anyways, I'm making a whole video about feedback, so that was my ramble for the day. I'll talk to you guys another time. If you